iPhone 7 color options mention a new type of space gray in the works. HTC finally decides to make its VR plans official as a separate company, and a certain amount of deals could land you a couple of good products even for a Monday. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if you've ever recorded yourself with someone else watching you, it's crazy awkward. This is Pocket Now Daily. As we try to do every single day, the official news today begin with deals. If you are in the market for any Galaxy S7, or even a Galaxy S6, or even a Gear VR, I would highly suggest you follow the link in the description. There are a couple of deals that have either of these products for more than 20% off. Some of these deals are rather compelling, mainly if you buy the combo. So again, learn more in the links. Speaking of deals, one of our favorite products of last year is the LG G4, up to the point where that camera is still making it to current products this year. And uh, if you want to get a really good deal on last year's flagship, it's currently available at B&H for $280. And we're actually talking about the black leather variant that was extremely difficult to find. I consider that a very good deal, even for it being last year's phone. Now, one company that continues making headlines is HTC, from changes like Peter Chow leaving the company to other things like saying that they won't spin off into a VR company, and uh, as of today, we have confirmation that they will. Chair Wang has just mentioned that the company took a little capital. They're apparently starting a new company. There is a lot of positive feedback in future, according to Wang, into what to expect for VR in the future, in education, in business, and definitely in consumer products. So you can expect the Vive to make a big splash soon. Hopefully that's the final name for the company as well. Now a very interesting twist just emerged for Samsung. We're expecting the Galaxy Note 7 to either happen at IFA or probably August 2nd, according to some recent leaks. And uh, we saw some new patents today that have to do with the fingerprint scanner design. Apparently it's going to become circular instead of oval. And apparently there's also the option to have the fingerprint scanner at the top in ways which we cannot really begin to imagine how Samsung's going to figure that out. But it would make a lot of sense in the world for you to be able to hold your phone from either direction if Samsung would be able to pull that off. You can learn more from the pens and the links. And finally, the very interesting news today has to do with the iPhone 7 again. This phone is expected to happen in September. We're not expecting major design changes, but we've seen the deep blue color option. The probability that Space Gray is going to say quits. But uh, today we see some new leaks that call it a Space Black option coming for this device. Now, Space Black is not necessarily something we like as an idea, mainly because of the experience we had with the iPhone 5, where it would just get dented and look horrible after usage. But it could just be that Apple figured out a way to make the Space Black color look good. And and it leads me to the question of today. Obviously, the iPhone 7 will probably have to differentiate itself in color this time. So if you had to choose, which would be your favorite color option for the iPhone 7 if you had to pick? Because in my case, I would stick to space gray, but I'm not getting the option. So I might as well go for pink. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also watch our videos on Vessel, vessel.com slash pocketnow, and follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.